Welcome to Coffee With. I'm Jim Gorman, Director of Internal Communications and Media Relations at Mizuho Americas, and I'm honored to be joined by Mark Herzlich. Mark was a player with the Super Bowl winning New York Giants in 2012 and is author of the book, What It Takes, Fighting for My Life and My Love of the Game. Mark, thank you so much for joining us today. Yeah, thank you very much. So after that big win, the sports website SB Nation put out a story that said you had the best storyline of the game. Can you tell us your inspirational story? Yeah, I appreciate that, SB Nation, uh, for that little shout out. Um, but yeah, so my, um, I grew up uh, outside of uh, Philadelphia in Wayne, PA, and, and ended up going to Boston College. Um, and at, while at Boston College playing football, I was diagnosed with bone cancer, uh, a very rare form of cancer called Ewing sarcoma. Uh, and was told I would never be able to walk again, nonetheless play football again. And uh, over the next two years, I went through chemotherapy treatments and radiation treatments and had surgery and fought my way back onto the field at Boston College and, uh, and then ended up with the New York Giants on that uh, Super Bowl winning team. And, and so uh, part of my story uh, culminated in that Super Bowl win where the cancer had come, uh, and was fully gone, and I was able to uh, hold up that Super Bowl trophy proudly that, as a champion. That had to be just an unbelievable feeling. To go, to come from that far, that fast, I mean, can you give anyone any advice on how to do that if they're facing adversity in their personal or professional lives? Yeah, absolutely. There's, um, uh, there's no key component um, to uh, the speed at which you can overcome things. It, it's more so the uh, tenacity of not giving in. A lot of things can get thrown at you and everybody's gonna have something uh, put in their way as an obstacle uh, to achieving whatever goal is in their mind. Uh, but the first thing you have to do to achieve a goal is to have a goal. Um, for me, my goal was to be healthy again and to play football uh, again. And so no matter what was thrown my way or what treatments uh, tried to knock me down, uh, there was the idea that no matter what, next morning I'm going to get up with that goal I have in mind of beating the cancer and playing football again. So Tom Coughlin um, gave the forward in your book, famous Tom mm -hmm. Coughlin, coach of the Giants. Your coach said you were one of the toughest players he'd ever met. High praise coming from Tom Coughlin. So how would you define toughness? Was it along the lines of just being able to just keep going in the face of adversity? Yeah, toughness uh, in, in certain situations, obviously in football we get bumped around and, and, and bruised and uh, it wasn't that I was indestructible. I think it, the toughness that Coach Coughlin is talking about is the fact that we, as humans, are uh, by nature destructible. Uh, and what happens when you start getting chipped away at uh, and that destruction uh, starts to creep into your life because that's what happens. Um, it's are you able to uh, understand that that destruction is taking place? Are you able to uh, straighten your path and, and maintain that focus on that goal we talked about? Um, and then uh, in that face of adversity, uh, and while something's chipping away at you, are you able to constantly push for success? Toughness isn't defined as winning. It's not about winning. It's about pushing for that success, um, whether you achieve it or not. So you are just an inspirational role model to so many. So who's your role model? Uh, my dad has always been uh, a role model to me. You know, there have been sports figures who I've looked up to, um, businessmen that uh, I have tried to model my off the field things after, but uh, the way my father uh, was not only a father, but a husband, um, he put his family first um, and he knew what was important. Uh, and he taught us as his sons uh, different values um, and what is important is, is family so when and whenever I try to check myself uh, or I have a conflict I think back and say hey what are my what are the actual important values in my life and how is this going to affect them and speaking of family you and your wife Danielle are uh, strong advocates of the no more a campaign against domestic violence. Can you speak a little bit about your passion there? Yeah, absolutely. So um, my wife, uh, Danielle, is a survivor of domestic violence. Uh, and uh, about four years ago, we joined the national board of uh, the Joyful Heart Foundation, which is uh, an organization started by Mariska Hargitay from Law and Order SVU to uh, end uh, domestic violence and sexual assault forever. Um, and we, my wife and I, we go across the country and we speak to young men, uh, young women about healthy relationships, how 
Uh, we can prevent uh, domestic violence from occurring by how we treat each other and how we respect mm -hmm. uh, each other and ourselves. Uh, and then on the back end, um, we, we uh, take victims uh, and create survivors who are thriving in their communities um, and help them either leave situations or uh, find success in whatever situation they are in. Thank you, Mark. We really appreciate you being here. Yeah, thank you very much. It's a pleasure.